Hi, I'm Sarah Subiate. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm passionate about healthy cooking and healthy eating. Today, I'm gonna to be making Mediterranean chicken with mushrooms and artichokes. I love being a volunteer with the American Heart Association so I can help share these delicious and healthy recipes with you. Come join us. Okay, so I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I've already started working with one of the chicken breasts, but just to bring you up to speed, I've trimmed off all the excess fat from each chicken breast. So it leaves you with roughly four ounces. And all I see here is flavor, color. And that's exactly what reminds me of Mediterranean recipes. They always have flavor and color. Now, just to walk you through the steps, this is one half cup flour. Throw that right into a relatively shallow bowl and take your chicken breast and make sure you coat it nicely and evenly in this flour and any type of excess flour just gently hit it so that you don't have clumps on here. All right so we have most of the ingredients prepped. I just finished prepping my chicken in that flour. Now we're going to move over to the Beautiful tomatoes. Now we have everything prepped. I'm taking my two tablespoons olive oil, throwing that right into my skillet, swirling it to make sure it's nice and evenly coated. Make sure that's warm enough. We're just gonna be placing each of these down on the oil for about two minutes. Now, of course, the chicken's not gonna be cooked thoroughly through, but gives us a nice start. Make sure when you place your chicken or whatever meat you're cooking with in your skillet, leave it there. Don't move it around. There you go. Let that cook on either side for two minutes. All right. So you turn it right whenever you see that there's enough light or golden brown in it, and that's when you know you're able to flip it to the other side. Okay, now your chicken should be done, should be nice and golden. We're gonna take it off and put it into our baking dish. Oh, it smells so good. Turn that off. And remember your oven should be preheated to 350. At this point, right on the perimeter, kind of outside the chicken, you place your mushrooms. And I always tell people I love to touch the food with my hands. It just gives me this connectedness to it. It's so strange to say, but I love it. You spread it out there along with the artichokes. Now the artichokes, spread them around. So, as you can see, I've added the full six ounces of marinated artichokes and eight ounces of the button mushrooms to this. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna add every ingredient to this bowl except for the sherry. All right, so these are two beautifully minced garlic cloves and this here is half a teaspoon of oregano and half a teaspoon of pepper. Add that in here. Like I said, Leave that amazing sherry till the end. You mix this together, and we're gonna be pouring this over that beautiful chicken. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the oven and bake for 25 minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this delicious chicken and add some sherry to it. Oh. oh, it smells so good. I can smell every ingredient, the oregano especially. Now the reason I chose the sherry over let's say something like low sodium chicken broth, which is something that you can also use, is because I love cooking with sherry or other types of wine-based sauces because the alcohol actually evaporates oh, whenever you heat it. So you're left with these delicious flavors and aromas that are otherwise not there. 
when using other things. Now we pop it back in the oven for another five to 10 minutes or until the pink is totally gone from the center of the chicken. Let's see how it turns out. Oh, it smells delicious. And I love that we chose the sherry, dry sherry wine, because you can see kind of around the perimeter, the mushrooms, the artichokes in this liquid, oh, they don't just smell good, but they, the texture is perfect. And sometimes they can wilt a little too much. This is beautiful. Now, I'm gonna plate this and we're gonna taste it. But first, we're gonna be taking this little mixture here. Uh, the recipe calls for either brown rice or quinoa. I love both, so I mixed them together. You can choose whichever you'd like. And as you see, I've come prepared with my ladle because you cannot eat this without adding all of the goodness. Thank you for joining me in making this food today. This is just one of hundreds of recipes available on the American Heart Association website. It is delicious and it is healthy and you can go find it at heart.org. Thank you. Thank you.